everyone, Bria here from Extra Actuarial, and in today's video, I'm talking all about something I know you are super interested in, and that's the salary of an actuary. Okay, so we are going to be digging in deep to the numbers. Like, I'm going to be showing you this really awesome resource that you're going to love because it shows you tons and tons of numbers and equations, and it's just awesome if you want to look further into the actuarial salaries. Um, so we'll be checking that out. But first, if you want to know the different factors that go into salaries for actuaries, then you're going to want to check out another video I've done in the past. I will link to it down below in the description. It goes through, I think it's seven different factors that affect an actuarial salary, okay? So after this video, go check that out if you haven't watched it already. So before I show you this awesome resource, first it's important to understand the difference between the, a life insurance actuary and a property insurance actuary. Okay, so there are kind of two different tracks that you can take once you decide to be an actuary. You can go into the SOA route or you can go into the CAS route. SOA stands for the Society of Actuaries and CAS stands for the Casualty Actuarial Society. Now I've done another video all about the difference between those so you can go check that out as well. I will leave a link in the description. But basically, and really quickly, the Society of Actuaries is geared more towards life insurance. And that means things like life insurance, health insurance, uh, pensions, those kinds of things. Whereas Casualty Actuarial Society, CAS, focuses more on property insurance. So that's things like your house insurance, maybe rental insurance, car insurance, business insurance, those kinds of things. So depending on what kind of insurance you get into, you're going to have to take different exams. So that's just a really important factor to, for you to know before we look at this salary information because it does split it between life insurance and property insurance. Okay, now let me show you my screen. So here we are on the DW Simpson salary survey. Now this survey is so awesome because DW Simpson works with tons and tons of different actuarial candidates to help them find jobs and to help companies find candidates to fill their job openings. So they are working with actuarial candidates all the time and that's why they have so much information about actuarial salaries. So this is a really reliable source. Now let's dig into these numbers. So we're looking right now at the Casualty Actuary Salary Survey. So they've broken it down by exams and experience, and they've given us approximate value or approximate salaries depending on the exams and the experience that someone has. So if, for example, you are someone that has one to maybe two or three exams passed and you have very little experience, then you are probably looking at something between about $50,000 per year to maybe about $70,000 per year. So it's a pretty wide range, $20,000, and you're going to see that throughout all these different values that we look at because, well, a lot of it comes down to those different factors that I talk about in the other video. Like I said, there are many different factors that go into an actuarial salary, so it's important you watch that video so that you know what factors might lead to a lower salary versus a higher salary. Okay, so let's start digging in even further. So as you gain more experience and pass more exams, you're obviously going to start making more money. Usually actuarial employers will give you a salary raise for every single exam that you pass. So that's why you're seeing these jumps here from three exams to four exams. There's usually an increase in salary, for example, because once you pass an exam, you're automatically going to get a salary increase from most employers. Okay, and as you gain more and more experience, you're going to be more valuable to the company. You, you just know so much more and you're, be, you're going to be able to do more complex work and you have such a better understanding of actuarial, uh, just the actuarial concepts. So that's why you quickly, very quickly, you increase your salary as you gain more experience, okay? So someone that starts here at, with four exams and just very little experience, after five years, they can be gaining so much more money, even with the same number of exams passed. See how big that gap is? 
So they can go from about 56,000 to 78,000. So looking at about 65,000 or so. And then after just three to five years of experience, they're already up into about $80,000, $90,000 per year. And they didn't even pass any exams in this example. So the potential for a salary is very high in actuarial careers and you tend to move up in salary quickly. So let's look a little further down the line here. This is a fully qualified actuary. They've passed all the exams. They typically have lots of experience. So look how much these people are um, earning. So it can, there is a very wide range again. It depends on so many different factors, but one of the big factors here is just how far up in the corporate ladder you decide to go. If someone, if an actuary decides to become the CEO of an insurance company, then they're going to make a lot more money than someone that's a manager, a lower level manager, even if they both are FS or FPAS, even if they're both fully qualified. Okay, so way up here with 20 years of experience and fully qualified, you see that they could make anywhere between 177000 to to $100,000 a year or more. Okay, so this is a really um, a good way to understand what your salary might be as you start your career and where it can go as you pass more exams and gain more experience. Now, I also think these salary surveys are really cool and interesting because they give you these graphs as well. So I'm going to open this one up here. It's the 2019 casualty student salary, and I've already opened it. So these graphs kind of give you a good idea of how your salary will increase in general and on average as you pass more actuarial exams. So they even give you an equation here. So this suggests that for every exam that you pass, your salary is going to increase by about $7,496. So basically $7,500. So that's a huge increase that you can expect for each exam that you pass. Now, this is just very general. Not every company is going to give you a $7,500 raise for each exam you pass, but you can just see from here the potential and how big of an impact your exams can have on your salary. There's another one here that's very similar that looks at the increase in salary depending on the number of years of experience you've gained. So on average, for each year of experience you gain, you're going to earn an extra $4,000 in salary. Okay, pretty awesome. Now let's look a bit further here into the life insurance actuary salaries. So here we are. Okay, so here we are. Now you're going to see actually that there isn't much difference between a life insurance actuary and a casualty insurance actuary. I checked quickly before I recorded this video and I really wasn't seeing major differences in the salary. In general, the casualty actuary salaries are a little bit higher, but nothing to base your whole career around. It's not like you're going to want to go into casualty insurance just because it pays higher anything. It's only a couple thousand dollars a year higher on average. So you see a very similar pattern here. As you're starting out, you're, you're getting about $50,000 per year up to maybe somewhere around $60,000, $62,000 a year on average if you are starting with one to three exams passed. And then as you gain more and more experience, you become fully qualified. You start to earn over $100,000 just with three to five years of experience. And it goes way up. There's a wide range as you hit the 20 years or more mark. Now it's important to remember, and or just in case you didn't know, you can start working in actuarial positions before you've passed all the exams. So it's very feasible to start when you just have three exams passed. But someone that, you, you'll see that there's not really any data here because someone that is an FSA is not going to have less than one year of experience. They've, they've been working for a while while they've passed exams and that's why the data starts here on 
three to five years for fully qualified actuaries. Okay, so likewise, they have the graphs for the life insurance actuaries. We'll look at one of them really quickly. So we have the 2019 life student salary. And when they say student, that means that someone that has not obtained an associate level, an associate level yet. So there are seven exams that you have to pass in order to be an associate level actuary. And someone that has less than that passed that is not an associate would be referred to as a student. So it's very similar here. For every exam passed, you're looking at about six thousand dollars per exam for per exam increase in salary. And I'm assuming it's very similar here. So yeah, for a number of ex or sorry, number of years of experience, you're looking at about five thousand dollars increase in salary on average. Okay. So I hope this was interesting for you. I know salary is a big factor, but I don't want you to go into the actuarial career only because of salary. Okay, I hope that was helpful for you, but I don't want you to go into the actuarial career just because of salary. There are lots of things to consider. It's a lot of work. So let me know down in the comments what other reasons you are deciding to become an actuary. I would love to know that. And I hope this video brought some clarity around how much you can expect to make. If you'd like help getting an actuarial position or just working towards becoming a top candidate for actuarial positions, I would love to help you in the Actuary Accelerator community. This is basically a whole community of people I've put together that are interested in becoming actuaries. And I've also created tons and tons of resources to help make this easier for you. So if that sounds like something that would be interesting to you, please go check out the Actuary Accelerator community and we can start working together so much closer and you can get lots of support to help you become an actuary and start making these big salaries much sooner. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.